Welcome to Conscious Magic. This is like a double feature. I'm Ron Pink. And I'm Andrew Gerard, and thanks for joining us. Uh, every episode in the series, we're going to be sharing with you two effects, one of mine, one of Rand's, and these effects are uh, not only really powerful, but they're meant more for casual environment performing. So you're at bars, nightclubs, house parties, friends after dinner, uh, and you'll see us perform in all of those kinds of environments as well. And not only are we going to teach the effects, we're going to deconstruct the effects and you're going to learn how we got there. And hopefully that will teach you how to do that for yourself and how to find effects that fit you and your personality the best and how to get there even if it takes a little bit of time. So we're hoping that uh, deconstructing these and kind of giving you guys some insights as to the whys and uh, the hows uh, will inspire you to kind of pull apart I guess, some of your own magic and mentalism routines and make them better. So without further ado, uh, let's roll the footage. All right. Roll it. Enjoy. Nothing's happening. And someone's got to turn on the footage. Ever since Paul Curry released Out of This World, there have been many variations. But my favorite's gotta be Andrew Gerard's Real World. He uses an ungimmicked regular pack of cards, the spectator deals into two piles, and there are no moves, no sleight of hand. But what's really great about this is that the method takes place in the spectator's mind. And the premise itself involves the law of attraction, which is something I can relate to and I know a lot of people will relate to this idea. So, welcome to the real world. So we know magic's amazing. You can create these visual moments with a deck of cards or props that leave the spectator in wow saying, you know, how did he do that? When it comes to mind reading though, they know how you did it. And that's what's amazing. They believe you're psychic, you're getting inside their head. Of course, we know that doesn't exist. But if it did, it would look like Rand Pink's T-Rex. This is the most amazing method, diabolical in nature. It's time-tested and true. In my opinion, is the best way to get inside somebody's mind and reveal exactly what they're thinking. So there's lots of ways to get inside somebody's head. What's the best way? Well, it's the way that you actually, the one, the method you actually use, right? And this is the one that I use, and I know you're going to as well. Let's check out T-Rex. Let's go read some minds. I want you to focus on one person. Think of one person from all the people that you know. Can you just try to send out thoughts to me, look you right in the eye. Emily. No way! Oh my god! What? Are you serious? Wow! That's amazing! Wow! How did you do that? How did you do that? What the f- <laughs> Hell no! Out of any man you could pick, fuck you do that. And that's crazy. That's my girl. That's my wife. Uh, that's nuts, huh? I mean, what's your name? So in your life, yeah. so far, how many people do you think you've met? I don't know. Billion? Um, <laughs> <That's all. laughs> no, I like just this. Uh, yeah, a so, lot of people. I want you to clear your mind and just think of one. Okay. Send it to me. Send it to me and just look me in the eye. <laughs> Repeat it again and again. Emma. No way! No! <laughs> Speechless! What? No! <laughs> oh, oh, no, there's no way. Oh man, I gotta go. Your man. finger go. was doing it. <laughs> hey, 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 I don't know what type of party. Are you? All you gotta Some people don't see it, right? Finger. No, no, his finger's not that long. No, no, that's that's, that's what it's about. Yeah. His finger's yeah. not that long. That's impossible. You're gonna have to argue with him. I did. I did too. I saw it. 